What's up, subscribers? What's up, YouTube? This is Bong Loaded coming at you with a review of the 2017 GT Pro Performer 26 inch. Uh, I opted for the chrome, as you can see. Pretty nice retro bike. Me being a child of the 80s, when I was younger, I had a GT Performer. It wasn't the Pro, but it was a GT Performer. And uh, I enjoyed that bike quite a bit until one fateful evening, somebody came in my backyard and stole that said bike. Um, I've always had a soft spot for GT bicycles, being that it was a California company. Uh, it was right here in Huntington Beach, California, not too far away from where I grew up as a kid. Um, this one, unfortunately, is not made in the USA. It's made in China, um, but it's still a cool cruiser bike, uh, me being... Close to 40, I'm not going to be out there doing any radical uh, freestyle stunts or maneuvers on it. But if I wanted to, probably could. So as you can see, this has got the 4130 chromoly frame. Comes with the GT Power Series cranks. Still got some uh, foam left on the dropout from when I unboxed it. GT sealed bearing hubs, got the legendary GT stamp in the back, nice padded seat, it's uh, actually pretty comfortable, got the GT BMX logo right there, GT tires, that old school GT mallet stem, It's the new style stem that clamps on for one and one eighth inch non-threaded forks. The only thing that I really don't like out the box is their decision to go with these super cheesy platform pedals. Um, not that there's anything really wrong with plastic pedals. I've always just been a metal pedal guy. Um, and also, my biggest complaint about the bike, which I don't know who sourced them or whose idea it was to put the cheapest, most garbage set of brake pads I've ever seen on a bicycle. I mean, this thing is like uh, the, the worst at stopping, and it only has a rear brake. So probably number one mod that I'm going to do is going to be to change out the brake pads to some better brake pads that actually grab the rear wheel and stop it. And then I'm going to get a gyro and a set of front brakes. What I really like about this frame is it comes with the holes pre-drilled and threaded for the new style gyro. Last year's model of the GT Pro Performer did not come with that option. And if you wanted to mount a gyro on it, like how it would have came from the factory back in the 80s, you would have had to carefully drill a hole and then tap said hole. And uh, if you're not that good at doing that kind of stuff, it could be somewhat tedious what I'm really excited about is I heard that Skyway is going to be releasing a 26 inch mag now when that happens to come I will be purchasing a set of those 26 inch mags and they will be going on this bike here's the other side view for y'all The hubs are reverse, so instead of having an axle that goes through, the bolt goes into the hub. Kind of like a old school bullseye hubs. After riding it for a couple days, I rode it yesterday on Christmas and I rode it around the neighborhood today. I have to say it's pretty comfortable. It's not quite as comfortable as the Big Ripper, but it's a very comfortable bike. Uh, I'm a big boy. And uh, it seems to hold up to my weight no problem. Just uh, when you're assembling it, be sure that you tighten all the nuts and bolts. Even the stuff that's factory assembled, go ahead and make sure that them uh, Chinamen over there done did their job and torqued everything to spec. Um, what I had an issue with was one of the crank arms was coming loose. So I had to tighten down those two Allen bolts right there that kind of pinch it on. But anyway, that's what's up. 
that's what I got for Christmas. Hope you boys and girls enjoy this video. And if you're thinking about getting one, hopefully it swayed you in the right direction. It's uh, definitely a pretty good bike. Looks cool and brings back lots of nostalgia. When I opened up the box, it was just like, wow. Uh, I put this under the Christmas tree and it was from Santa Claus to me. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Go check out my other videos. Been making vlogs since 2006. If you don't know, now you know. 2017 GT Pro Performer.